Yo, what's going on guys? So I wanted to make a quick little video about what it's been like using the Peter McKinnon everyday bag. So I've had this bag for, I'd say like four or five months now, and I just kind of wanted to go over what it's like actually using this bag. I did make an unboxing and like first impressions video, but that was literally before I even used the bag. So now that I have been using this bag, I kind of want to go over what it's been like. I would first like to say that the bag is fantastic. It's not necessarily like your normal camera bag. It definitely took some time to get used to, uh, like how to fully utilize this bag and use it to its full potential. But once you figure out a good system that works for you with this bag, it's awesome. Now, I just recently took it on a trip to um, Missouri, so about a seven hour drive, and I loved it. I was able to fit my entire camera rig with all of the accessories and handles and monitors and stuff like that, as well as an iPad and some just miscellaneous stuff like a giant portable charger. And it all fit perfectly, fit, fit very well. Here is how I have it kind of set out or set up. Uh, this is where my camera goes, which I'm obviously using right now. But we got like my tilt the side handle here. By the way, this side handle is awesome. I just got it uh, like two days ago. And look, just look how good that looks. Look how good the white looks. But it's a, a Tilta Advanced Side Focus Handle, so it does have this little wheel on here to be able to control like your Nucleus Nano. So I can have my Nucleus Nano pulling focus and then I can literally pull the focus from my handle. And then you can power your camera from the handle if you wanted to as well. So I used it today on a little commercial shoot and I love it. It was my first time really using the focus part with the wheel, so it took some time to get used to, but amazing. I'm probably gonna do a video on that soon as well, just because I can't find any ones that are actually talking about the handle and how good the handle is and what you can do with the handle. But back to the bag. So as you can see right now, I'm using the large cube. I do have two small cubes, which this one is my camera cube, if I'm just bringing my camera. And then I use this one if I am bringing the drone or I don't, I don't know, anything else. But those cubes are nice though, because if I don't want to bring my camera, I can just bring the drone. Or if I don't want to bring any of that and I can just bring a camera and a lens and my microphone and some batteries, I can do that with this one. But back to the bag here, I have one lens, um, another lens. Then we have the dummy battery for the V mount and then just some screws. And here we have an audio recorder. This is the Zoom H4n Pro. I absolutely love this thing. And then we've got a, oh, we've got a portable light and then my camera monitor. Uh, small rig V-mount battery. Once again, going to be making a video on this. This thing is fantastic. It's got these ports on the top here so that way, if you didn't want to buy in uh, like a universal battery plate or something like that, you can just use the battery straight up. It's got these uh, quarter 20s and 3 8s on the back, so you don't even need a plate to mount it. So that is super cool. You can charge it from a USB-C port that's on the top here. So you don't even need a V-mount charger anyway. And then we've got my on-camera shotgun mic and my top handle and some miscellaneous cables over here and some more batteries for my camera and then up top here i'll usually put uh, like my rail and base plate system for when i do rig out my camera that just fits nicely up top here another cool thing i like to mention is when i have camera bags like this i like to kind of customize them so if you notice here, there's a carabiner, right? We've got a black carabiner right here. I can take this hero clip, 
clip it onto the carabiner and then now I can hang something off of it. So most of the time I will hang my gallon of water off of that. We've also got another little clip circle thing right here if need be. And then some bongo ties. These things are fantastic. I love bongo ties. Um, if you've never heard of them, they can kind of just, I use them for cables. So like uh, my lights are in the car, but um, like the power cables that go to my lights, I usually like to use the bongo ties to keep them all tightened together. So those are super nice. I have two on here just in case because you know it looks cool and why not. Uh, we got another one right there. And then another thing I like to do is put a knife right here, just a random pocket knife. I'll put a, a pocket knife right there. But so if we take a look at the loft, um, I have some business cards here. And then this is where I'll usually put my SSD, my main SSD, as well as the USB-C cable. I'll put the, the, those two right there. And then up here, I just have some miscellaneous stuff like my USB-C hubs and some pens, some lens cleaner, lens cloth, the small rig multi-tool. So that's normally what I carry with this bag. And even with all that in there, it's still pretty light. So it's not bad, it's not bad to carry at all. And there's another thing I would like to kind of speak about, and that is the laptop. So I have a 16 inch MacBook Pro, and it is not a small computer. The bag can support a 16 inch computer. And to me, that was honestly one of the main factors of me getting this bag was because I do have that large computer and I do need to be able to store my computer and carry it around. My old bag did not do that well. So putting a 16 inch computer in here actually fits really nice. Here, we'll put it in real quick. Now, when you do put it in, um, it's not the most simple. You kind of have to like lift it above this little lap here or lip. So when I put my computer in here, you kind of have to like push it in between that lip and then it'll zip up just fine. And you can see that with the computer in there, it's not much bigger than what it normally is. So that's really cool. Um, the magnetic flaps, I love them. And then another thing, if you notice, um, it stands upright. Now that might seem like kind of a gimmick feature, kind of like the automatic locking um, DJI Ronin RS3, but that is so nice. Uh, I feel like all bags should have that. But I mean, yeah, I've, like I said, I've used this bag quite a bit. Um, when I would travel from my apartment to my office, I would literally use this bag every single day. And even just like when I'm going around the city or even going to my parents' house, I'll bring the bag because why not? I'm pretty careful with my stuff so it's not really beaten up, but like you can't see any really wear and tear other than when I had my knife there. Like I'll usually, carry just like some type of a uh, utility knife. Put a utility knife there. And that's usually how I'll carry my bag. But this thing has seen rain, snow, all different types of weather and it still looks brand new. But yeah, so after using this bag for a few months, um, like I said, once I got used to using the bag and kind of conforming to how the bag was meant to be used, I love it. I definitely think I'm going to pick up the travel bag pretty soon because I want to fit more gear in there. But you can still fit a lot of gear. So yeah, I mean, if you were thinking about getting it, I still highly recommend it. Um, I know that the cubes can get pretty pricey because I think like each cube is like 50 bucks or something like that. It's nice to be able to have all three. So yeah, like I said, uh, I like the bag. I've really been enjoying it and I definitely think I'm going to have it for a very long time. But as far as like a, an everyday bag goes, I think that is a perfect bag, especially if you know you like cameras. And I mean, just look at it. It's a beautiful bag, I can't lie, you know what I mean? So with that being said, um, I know it was a short little video. I didn't wanna go too crazy into this. Just kinda wanted to explain what it's been like using for a few months now. What are you doing? 
So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you kind of took away something about the bag. Um, I could definitely do a more in-depth review, but I definitely think this just covered all of the kind of thoughts I had about the bag. I haven't really had any issues, so that's a plus. But yeah, that's all for me today. Um, thank you guys for watching and go pick it up. You're not gonna regret it. Peace.